And we are returning. As I said in the previous video, on November 24th, 2017, I was arrested in my home after I called the police on trespassers and neighbors who had been uh, trying to harass me for several months because I put no, no trespass signs up. And like I said earlier, the police came up here and they were going under, looking under insulation. But they were looking for drugs in the house. They also uh, just shuffled a lot of it too. Claiming they were look, looking for guns when I had a gun in the house, but the gun was uh, a 9 millimeter, a small handgun that I usually keep in a lockbox. But from time to time, I take it out and clean it and keep it in good condition just, just in case I had to use it. They say, well, you're a felon and you can't have a gun. Bullshit. You break in my house that you can do any harm to any of my family members, I will blow your fucking head clean off. And that ain't no damn joke. I don't give a fuck about no, 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 no law. They're they going to keep me, they're going to prevent me from protecting myself or my family. They call themselves coming here looking for drugs. But you say, I don't do drugs. I've never done drugs. No family member in my immediate family does drugs. We've never done drugs. Because our father and mother raised us in a house where drug was not permitted. I thank God my father was that strict and my mother too. So none of us do drugs. Period. But that's what they were looking for. He's a black man, he's single, he got all that money, which I was working uh, overtime. Sometimes I'd be working uh, 65 hours a week, 70 hours a week. Because when you want success and you're hungry, you don't mind working. If, if you notice in the previous video, in my bathroom, I don't even have a medicine cabinet. And I don't even take aspirin. Well, he must be doing drugs. He afforded house. Once that was eliminated, I was put in jail for 47 days. In that time frame, the job I had, RSI Home Products, terminated me. I had my brother calling at that time. And they could have told him, like I said in the previous video, that they had already turned me back in December. Because I was following all the procedures like I was supposed to be following. If you're going to be out or something take place, call the, uh, the number and leave a message. They never got back to me. They never, they never got back to my brother. They never said anything. Next thing I knew I was on probation. Getting out of jail January 9th, 2018. Just to find out I no longer have a job. I got mortgage to pay, car payment to pay, uh, utilities to pay, all those things to pay. You think they give a damn? No. They don't even go through the trash can. You see, I keep the trash can pretty clean. And I keep the garbage carried off myself. And the garage is like in the garage. But at the moment, uh, these uh, cables broke on my garage door right here because it came out of this uh, track. I can raise it, but I'm not going to take a chance of raising it because it might fall down on somebody's head or fall down on the car. But it is, it is easily fixable. So you put uh, the cable back on. See? Like I was saying, they came in here looking for drugs. Because somebody said he got that great big house, living in that big old house on our property. He's a black man, he could to be doing drugs. Because all black people are drug dealers. And a lot of that came from blacks, not just whites, but blacks. It's the whites they were talking about, uh, he got guns and we, and we scared. And I had those stupid, stupid neighbor just recently said, When he's a threat to white people, he don't need to live here. That's old nasty white woman they do, uh, right in the chorus sack right, right, right across from me. And that's where she really talk. When he's a threat to white people, he don't need to live here. Each time she start talking, I just want to just, 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 just leave. You know, just, just go back in the house and turn on some music. 
Because nobody, nobody wants to hear that crap. That's, that's that back in the day talk. When people were on the plantation. And they probably wonder why I left him because when she started talking, I don't think nobody really wants to hear that. And the house was a blessing. I couldn't get anything in Gaston, in Gaston County. I guessed on you. I even tried to get an apartment. And they uh, ran, ran a background check talking about I was on a uh, pedophile list. So when I did it, I called the WBT. And I told them what happened. And they actually called the apartment and said, well, we checked Mr. East's background. He's not in, on any pedophile list. And now he's, he, he, he's registered anywhere. So I wouldn't know where to get that from. So I couldn't, I couldn't get the apartment. And I remember God telling me, he said, why are you even trying to get an apartment? When you get your own home. And when I got my home, that's when uh, these neighbors over here went to start trying to trespass. Because I put signs up. All this took place on November 22nd, 2017. Being arrested in your own home. Because you caused, because I called call the police on trespassers to keep off my property. Well, he's a threat to white people. Yes, that's the way that's we should really talk. Like a backwards uh, talking uh, hillbilly from, from, from back in the day. Now we're going to step outside for a minute. I'm going to let you see my house from the outside. And on the first day I moved in here, I had some black neighbors talking about where well, he could go. We don't want to live in the neighborhood. There's a white racist, racist nigga uh, screaming out, pedophile, pedophile, because I put cameras up. And another old hick down here to be uh, walking around with his dog thinks I'm intimidated by that. They better scare no damn dog. Like I said earlier, trying to intimidate with that dog, that dog be the first one to go knock on my for your ass. Now I don't mean to be making threats on this video, but you be real. Ask yourself a question. Are you gonna let somebody attack your family? Or are you trying to use a dog as a weapon? This is my house from the side. And the land. Now understand this. When they see a man of color with land, property, and a home what do you think they're going to try to do? They're going to investigating him, find out how he's making his money. They're going to try to find out a way to get rid of him. I've been talking to some, some other guys. Most of the time I'd be just listening to what he's saying. I mean, you can listen, but you ain't going to believe what they say. But you listen carefully to what they say. The other guys also don't went through it. They end up losing things, and it hadn't really done anything to anybody. I ended up losing. Now look at this. This is my land. All this is, is not leased, I'm buying. And what this is paid for, the land, the house, and everything belongs to me. I see the wind start picking up. I hope it don't muff, muffle my voice out. But he's a threat to white people. You know, that type of crap. We'll go on, uh, on this side. And as you can see, I, I keep my grass cut, keep it, everything up pretty good. Now, right here, they took the, uh, the gas thing down, and they made an excuse and said, I wasn't here that day. 